Okay, so welcome back to the channel. I appreciate those of you who have subscribed, and if you haven't, uh, you can always do so during this video. So, uh, welcome back to Rick's Railroading. Today, I'm just going to be doing a real quick overview of how I do my weathering on my freight cars. First of all, I start with uh, just a simple uh, coat of doll coat from Testers. Uh, just get a can of uh, Testers doll coat. Uh, I remove the trucks first, remove the trucks, spray it with doll coat, allow it to dry, and then uh, from there you can do a couple different things. Uh, you can use oil-based paints if that's what you would like to use. Or um, today, I, I sometimes use oil, but today I'm going to show you a different kind of paint. It's called Gauche. And uh, I'm going to be using black, white, and burnt sienna. Uh, I'm just going to real lightly weather this car. But what I really want to do is make some of these details that are on the car pop. I really want those details to, to sort of pop out at you to give it some dimension uh, when it's on my railroad, especially for when taking pictures and, and things like that. But, um, and really I just like the extra added sense of realism. So personally what I do, I get a little bit of the uh, paint. Like I said, if you use oil paint, that's fine. Uh, I used, I've used oil paint for years, but uh, I also like working with uh, this particular paint. What you want to do is you're going to kind of load up your brush uh, like I've done over here. And we are going to basically dry brush. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, dipped my brush in the paint, and then gotten most of it off. From there, I'm just going to come over here, and what I want to do is just kind of um, highlight some of these details. You'll have to excuse my uh, lack of good camera work. And the nice thing about working with this is whether you use oil-based paint or this uh, gauche, which, which is water-based paint, uh, either way, if you mess up, it's really simple to remove. As you can see here, I'm just going to try to go really lightly. Uh, if it's a little heavier at the top, that's fine. I'm a steam air, a modeler, and some of that uh, soot and things along that nature are going to get on the roof of my car anyhow. Um, so no real big deal there but as you can see as i go along if something is just a little bit too too bright or too much uh, weathering i just take my finger and just wipe it off but i'm just taking this and this is kind of a, a stiff bristle brush and all i'm doing is just dragging it over some of these rivets uh, like I said, just to give this car the look of some dimension. And what you can do too is, let me just reload a little bit here. What you can do as well is just get some of that paint and just start to drag it down a little bit. Um, and again, that just is just like doing a wash. Uh, you just think of... Uh, soot or anything like that that might you know end up coming down the side of the car during operation and so that's basically what you're looking at you might see in a picture or something like that you might say like ah, it's a little bit too dark uh, for this particular medium like I said if you just uh, use a little bit of water you can take it completely off uh, you can just take a wet paper towel and wipe all this weathering completely off your car if you don't like how things are turning out. Um, what I'm going to do now actually is uh, I'm just going to switch colors a little bit. I probably should have started with white but oh well. <clears throat> but same thing. 
I'm just going to get a little bit of white on my paper towel here. And I'm just going to load up my brush. And what I can do to sort of drag these colors down so that it looks like my paint is running. As, I, as you can see, I'm just going to dab a little bit of this white here and there. You can actually take just a really fine tip brush like this one here and you can just dab white in a couple of places wherever you think it should be. And what I'm going to do at this point is just take a tiny bit of water and I'm not going to have my brush soaking wet, but I'm going to start at the top. I'm just going to sort of try to drag just try to drag some of that white down so that it gives the effect that you know maybe my paint's been running a little bit I probably did that just a little bit too wet and that's okay I can always put more paint on I'm just gonna take a little bit more paint on there not have my brush as wet this time but you still need to have some just something to just drag that along like I said if you don't like it uh, you could take a paper towel and just wipe it off I'm just gonna kind of help myself a little bit to just wipe some of that excess off at this point so now if my camera will focus uh, we've got just a little bit of white running probably gonna do a little bit more and then you can see the black now if I think like oh that blacks just a little bit too heavy again all I have to do is get this brush Get it a little bit wet and let's say up here of course I'm really zoomed in right now I can say like oh, I don't really like that so I can take I can just wipe that right off it's like I never even did it um, and you know, if you see up here at the top you're like eh, I don't really like that again it's really really simple to take take that paint back off of there let me uh Just gonna just gonna bring that rivet detail back out. I just really like to see those rivets on my cars. So there's what you're looking at there. Uh, also, one of the things I really like to do is down here along the bottom side of my doors on the track here I always think like oh that's got to get nice and greasy you know what what we don't want to have happen is a is a rail car that the doors are frozen up on it so I always assume that uh, if you look at some pictures too always the best thing to go off of if you look at some pictures you'll see some you know, some grease caked up down here um, so that the doors slid really easy for those people working in the warehouses and freight yards and you know, at freight houses I should say and, and things like that so um, <clears throat> that's just what we have just within a few minutes and like I said if you don't like how something is or if you think something just 
a little bit too bold uh, like maybe this down here at the bottom here just maybe a little bit too bold for your likings uh, you can just take a wet paper towel whether it's wet with water or in this case is water uh, or if you're using oil-based paint you just use mineral spirits you know, something along that nature uh, I'm in my basement right now so I, I just like to use this gauche paint just because of the pure fact that I can use water and I'm not making my basement stink like mineral spirits um, so you know just just some ideas for you I really like you know I've been doing this just for a couple minutes now I really like how things are turning out I might just uh, adjust this a little bit up here and again I can just real lightly just gonna get my brush loaded up I can just really lightly go on that rivet detail and then I'm gonna get the top of this this uh, track here where I think there would be some grease and it just makes those details pop out at you uh, like I said I'm zoomed in so uh, when you kind of zoom back when we zoom back out of this it'll be a little less in your face uh, but I really like to bring those details out and just kind of make them shine a little bit just real lightly going over that with my brush I like how that's looking uh, now for the uh, the burnt sienna it's gonna be like my fresh rust and uh, obviously car freight cars everywhere are gonna have some degree of rust on them and again I'm just gonna take clean my brush here in a little bowl of water that I have I'm just gonna take and make just a few little tiny spots of rust and you can just be completely random with this just gonna take a few little spots there and then I'm gonna go here with my brush and just gonna wet it a little bit and I'm just gonna take and drag just gonna take and try to drag that rust down a little bit always go from just from kind of top to bottom here and I really think you'll like the effects that you get they don't want to overdo I don't want to overdo anything but particularly you don't really want to uh, sort of overdo any rust on this particular car I've got some various levels of of weathering on my cars on my layout I do always like to do something though to to just bring out the details that don't usually pop off of a model like those um, like those rivets I, like I said I just like to really see those rivets shine off of there it just gives it a little bit of depth and dimension I'll just wait for that to dry a little bit and um, that's it that's pretty much probably all I'm going to do to this particular freight car uh, on the entire body um, just to like I, like I said again just to give it get rid of that plastic sheen look and give it that impression that this freight car has been used over the line for a period of time uh, let's just do a tiny tiny bit more rust here you can always take just kind of just kind of drag that down a little bit I 
Again, if you're not happy with it, like that's probably a little bit more than what I'm looking for. I can just wipe it off. That's real simple to do. There we go. So just going to take, just drag that down a little bit. So I really like how this is, uh, how this is starting to look. Okay, now we're just going to weather my trucks and all I'm going to do is just take my brush, just kind of drag that rust around there. Just to give those wheels sort of a, a rusty appearance on the sides there. If my camera would focus. And Just kind of work it around, take your time, and then I take this same brush and just bring out some of the details of my trucks themselves. Now what I find is, is this will, like these trucks are really, really pretty loose. They really roll pretty freely. Uh, what the paint will actually do is actually kind of help me out a little bit. It'll slow my freight cars down on the layout and um, kind of prevent them from moving freely on their own. Um, so that's one thing you can keep in mind. If you're worried about that, you can always pop the truck, the, uh, the wheels out of the truck set as well. And just kind of clean up the ends uh, but again just really lightly um, just going over just kind of dry brushing to bring out some of those details that are just kind of hiding out in those in these trucks just to bring some of that realism through might as well bring out those details that are on the cars that we all desire to have. Just make them pop a little bit. And just gonna, where the bearings would be there, I'm just gonna give it a little, give it a little black. Um, and then just, uh, I'm sorry, just gonna give it a, Just a nicer, just a nicer feel to it. Just a nicer look. Okay, so just so you don't have to see me weather the entire car, uh, this is a uh, a different car, freight car that I weathered as B and O car here. Uh, but I used all the same techniques. Just a little bit of dry brushing, uh, a little bit of rust. A little bit of uh, running on the on the white lettering there, you know some uh, some rust on the trucks. I didn't do the underside yet. I typically don't because you just don't see them that much, except if something hangs down on the track, uh, like some of the brake parts and stuff like that. I'll probably hit them up. And as you can see over here, just some just some rust. Just uh, like I said, I like to bring those. Um, rivet details out i like to put a little bit of what looks like grease on my on the uh, slides for my door uh, some grease on the handle i figure those guys probably got grease on their gloves or hands or whatever and ended up getting it on the sides of the car and and things like that so uh just have fun with it i started out by just picking up some really cheap cars at some uh, local train shows and stuff like that. That way you're not ruining or potentially ruining your, you know, 40, 50, whatever dollar uh, freight car or whatever it is that you might be uh, trying or wanting to weather. And, and like I said, again, don't be, don't be afraid of it. Don't be scared of it. Um, 
it easily comes off with water. I, I could take that PRR car that we were just working on and wet a brush and just brush over top of it, take a paper towel and wipe it off and it would look like I never touched it. Um, so just do it. Just have fun. It's a really quick, easy way to just do some weathering and get most of your uh, rolling stock weathered up. Uh, some of you might not like the weather and that's okay too. I personally just really like the effect that it gives for my layout. You know, I've got buildings that are weathered and run down looking and just, uh, well, not even run down. They just look highly used. And so it's just one of the things that I really like to do is just make my freight cars, uh, match that look, you know? So if you've got some weathered buildings and stuff like that on your layout, by all means, weather your freight cars too. It makes a world of difference, especially when it comes to taking pictures and, and different things like that. Uh, as always, have a great day. Have some fun railroading. Get down in that basement uh, or wherever you keep your railroad. And uh, again, please like and subscribe and uh, tell me what you think. I'll try to answer everyone's comments as best as I can. Uh, thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.